Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Arc Guide Part 2, titled The Note Run. The start to any new character should typically begin with a note run. A note run is a quick and concise jump start to early game leveling before getting into the late game grind trying to beat the bosses for tech rims and getting to the max level. To help in your quest for greatness, hidden around the arcs are various explorer notes and dino dossiers for you to discover that can be gathered to grant a small chunk of XP and a short, timed, 2 times experience buff that will boost any crafting gains or XP from kills. There are many variations of note runs, some using other maps or teams, however in this video we're just going to cover the simplest route you can do solo, covering 10 or 11 notes in only 10 minutes flat, all on foot, straight from level 1. In order to maximize your effort, it's wise to begin your characters during holidays or other game events. With the release of Arc 1's last map, The Lost Island, being during the Christmas break, I thought it would be a great opportunity to show off my route, and I figured I could educate all you new players on how an experienced player can achieve level 75 in only the first 30 minutes of playing. I'll be playing an official vanilla server hosting the island map, so there will be player bases in the world, and it may not look the same as your map, so you may want to familiarize yourself in creative single player by flying around a little bit before attempting this first yourself. As a small disclaimer, I do not have the best computer as you'll see in some of this footage. Because of that, I have edited my arc config console settings.ini to remove a lot of the problematic graphical elements that make the game run worse for me. My computer seriously couldn't handle diving on snow owls, mana, or maywings. I would lose control of the game for several seconds, losing all input, basically rendering those mounts useless, and this solution works. I really don't do it to cheat. The best thing you can do prior to attempting your first note run is go on the Arcpedia wiki and familiarize yourself with the explorer map I showed earlier. There's a link down in the description. This map shows you various points of interest around the arc, but we have our eye on the explorer notes and dino dossiers. Notes come in two flavors. The majority are 2x, but on every map, there are three special 4x explorer notes that provide a special 10 minute buff that stacks with the normal 2x buffs. The 2x and 4x compound, so if we start with the 2x and we grab our first 4x, then that chunk of XP will be doubled, and any notes after that will be 8x for the 10 minute timer. Once you connect, it's time to create a character. I picked the female model because it has a smaller hitbox than the male, and I typically make my skin black because I think it might have just a small advantage at night where it, it's definitely very difficult to see in this game in the dark, so I think it might have a small advantage. Um, I make all of my dimensions small, every slider I drag down to the minimum except for arm length here. I leave that one at the maximum so that I can reach taller targets, I can box things out that are trying to get in my space, all sorts of reasons. And uh, pick West Zone 2 to spawn. You can name yourself if you want, but most people prefer the anonymity of human these days. We pick West Zone 2 because it has all these spawn points concentrated on this single island, and the first seven uh, explorer notes are located on this island. So it's a really convenient spawn zone, West Zone 2. Take out your map, find out where you spawned, and make your way towards the river that bisects the middle of this small island. Go ahead and punch a tree for some wood and thatch. Pick up some fiber and berries off of any of the bushes that you run over. And in general, just make your way over to the other side of the island in this case. Now up here you do want to be careful. There can be predators in this spot. And it does look a lot different since it's been inhabited by other players. Um, that's just what happens. I didn't pick the server. There's spam everywhere on any server, especially in this general area. We're going to have to do some basic crafting, like uh, armor and tools, so just 
pick stuff up on your way, gather as many resources and materials, um, you know, not the heavy ones like wood and stone, um, but just stuff that you can pick up off the ground uh, that you're running over anyway, you might as well pick it up. Um, you'll notice down there, because I became cold, my food bar is now gray. And I don't notice this when I'm playing, but after a second here, I'm going to poop. And the reason why I poop is because while that hunger bar is gray, I have to poop, and it will consume my food at a really high rate. When I started this game as a fresh newbie, I had no idea about that mechanic, and I could not understand why for the life of me the characters in this game ate so much food. You would run around and do this and do that. Just base stuff, man. And you'd be eating stacks of steaks. Like, just stupid amounts of food. And then I, I realized that you have to poop. And it's so much easier. If you manage it, um, it's great. If you don't, you can just eat lots of food. Every, every To each their own. In the end, it's just a matter of personal preference. If you're an OCD freak like me, that tip will save your life. I save buckets of food now just by managing my poop, and I love it. So, um, off off of that. But basically, your first goal is to get some flint from a pickaxe on a rock and make a hatchet. And, and if you didn't know, you can use a torch to set the smaller stuff on fire. And it does percentage health damage, so it does a little bit more than what you can do with just stone tools um, and it's one flint one wood and one stone how could it get any better but we're just gathering up materials getting some resources and we're gonna do all our crafting after we grab our first note here so coming up on it here I'll see it I'll let you see it on the map here But yeah, you're going to grab this note, and as soon as you do, pump in some levels. I usually do five in my hit points, so that's 150 hit points. Uh, two points into fortitude, so that's four total. Uh, two points into stamina I've already pumped already. I believe I usually do 180 weight, and then everything else goes into movement speed up to 175. Now I'm just going to kind of rush through the basic engram engrams here. I don't feel like I need to explain myself, but basically you want to arm yourself with some hide and cloth armor, some stone tools, uh, bolas, a bow and arrow, um, and parachutes just in case, and some meat. Just go around murdering all the small stuff that you can find in the area. There usually is a lot. Dodos, compies, whatever you can find. Try not to get scavenged by the Meganoras that hunt cadavers. Um, and just go around gathering up hide so you can make your parachutes. Because there's one thing I've learned in 8,000 hours. It's don't go outside in a PvP server without parachutes on. Now a strategy that I use is I make the tougher hide armor on top with my cap, my torso, and my gloves. However, the lower body, the legs and the feet, I just do in cloth. Now the reasoning for that is that we're so small that anything that can actually reach our legs is probably not doing that much damage, so we really don't need that extra weight or heat or or any of that because we're on the island we don't need uh any extra well right now we need some warmth but we'll fix that right up i'll try not to lose anyone but i'm still pretty slow at this point we haven't been able to pump much movement speed so i am going to speed up a little bit of the footage just so you don't have to w watch me uh crawl like a snail so we're just going to go up the hill there's a 4x that we're going to grab while this 2x is, is on um, and we're actually going to cook some meat so that's going to take some some time so we're going to take a little detour and get another 2x on our way to uh do our our 10 minute note run 
And right up here, we're going to set a fire, put some meat and wood in it, and just have it cook for a little bit so we have some fresh meat just in case we get hurt. Um, berries don't heal very much, so it's a lot better to have some fresh meat just in case you get hurt um, or if you, you know, you're lazy like me and you don't want to actively pick berries. You'd rather just passively cook meat. It's all just preference again. So using the 4x as reference, come over to this rock and do a little bit of parkour and you're up on top of it. You can make your way over to the next note just across the way. Alright, so at this point I just go back to the 4x and... Um, get a little bit more hide, so I am actually going to cut and see you when we start our 10 minute timer. After a quick rendezvous back at the fire, it's almost time for us to start our note run here. Uh, I don't use much of my gear to fight predators in this run. I don't see much. However, it's always a good idea to come prepared. I've got my bullets, I've got my parachutes, and I've got about 40 arrows just in case. I'm pretty much the king of the beach in this gear, and I, I shouldn't have any problems from any kind of threat in my travels as long as I don't stray from the area. Stay attentive, keep your eyes peeled, and be smart. Don't rush, but do be quick about it. You can't die with the buffs, or they'll be lost on death. And any boosted time that was left over will be wasted. Keep in mind, each explorer note can only be gathered once per character as well. Not only that, but there seems to be a bug that prevents you from making new characters and picking up the notes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But what I've found to work is if you navigate to your local profile folder in the um, ARC folder, the, the Steam common, uh, you know, exact, it's on the screen. The player local data .arc profile file can be deleted and that'll reset things like your map, um, explore note progress, things like that, so that you can redo all of it as if it never happened on a, on a previous character. Please make sure before you pick up the 4X that you have a 2X applied because it does make a big difference getting that large chunk of XP from that note um, doubled. And uh, any anything after that is going to be 8X. So get ready to strap your rocket boots on because here we go. All of these notes should be pretty straightforward to find as long as you just study the explorer map, uh, you should be able, they've got coordinates, everything. So um, it shouldn't be a problem, but it is definitely easy on this map with all the foundation spam and stuff, getting rid of the trees for sure. Um, so you might have a little bit more of a hard time finding stuff with tree cover. However, if you get lucky like me, or you want to join this server, um, yeah, hopefully it's still exactly the same, just like it was today when I recorded. Now I'm looking for another one that might be a phantom. I, I feel like there's another one over here, but I might be getting it mixed up. I'm not quite certain, but I end up not finding it and then just going up to the very top of the hill um, after I gathered those other two. You can see here I'm just looking for it and uh, failing to see it. Um, even when there's tree cover, I mean, that's what I'm, I, the opposite of what I'm trying to say. When there's tree cover, I can never find that last one. 
and, and I might be getting it confused with another one. But anyway, um, this one at the top of the hill is very easy to find. Uh, you've gathered three already uh, after the 4X, so this should be number four or five. And if you just look down the hill a little bit, there is another one here. I'll spot it in a second. There it is. I've spotted it. Now that makes the last one collected on this small island. We're just going to cross the river real quick, making sure we don't run into any piranhas. And there's uh, two or three more behind the waterfall here. Just pumping my movement speed so that I don't get caught up in the water and eaten alive by one of those dang fish. I back up for a running jump so I don't have to swim as much as possible and I carry my movement speed and just like that over the river safely. I know uh, way back when five six however many years ago this game came out I used to die in the rivers all the time to those stupid piranhas but if you're fast if you have decent movement speed uh, they can't touch you. You know, I'm doing a lot of these off of memory, and at this point, I debate whether or not I should go get one of the more difficult ones um, that's back in the forest, kind of towards the swamp. Um, there's a chance of predators. There's a chance I couldn't find it and I'd be wasting time. There's all sorts of factors to consider. Um, but in the end, I did decide I knew where it was uh, well enough in my head, so I did go get it it's getting a little turned around had to pull out the map here now this was what I was kind of worried about, was losing my way and not having enough time to finish. But I do end up making it, uh, getting another three after this point. Now, the one I want is below us. Back quite a bit. But I don't know that. Looking, looking, looking. And my spatial recognition is just wrong at this point. Uh, mostly because of the player buildings. I'm used to seeing 
that scene as if it was all nature. So having objects in the way really threw me off here. So you can see there's a little bit of puzzlement, but there's some improvement. But as long as you kind of follow the general route, um, you should be able to get at least eight double notes at eight times. Eight is pretty good. That's what I'd shoot for at kind of like a minimum. It's pretty easy to do, not hard at all. However, if my math isn't wrong, I counted 10 uh, that were at 8x and 11 that we grabbed in total. So it was really a productive little 35 minute session. Uh, condensed down into a little 20 minute video. It took me a minute, but at this point I got back on track on the video. I started recognizing where I was and I was able to pick up the last three no problem here. This isn't really meant to be a definitive route. I don't expect you to exactly walk in my shoes or my path. However, it's a pretty good order to go in. It gets a solid 10 under your belt um, no matter what. If you're really quick about it, you can get 12 sometimes. Um, but it's really just about memory, remembering. You know, I've played this game since early access. I've been playing since the very, very beginning. It really intrigued me. So being such an early adopter, I got a lot of time to practice and practice makes perfect. I can promise you can do this for yourself as well. My final thoughts are that you should be prepared to craft non-stop for the next 100 minutes after completing this run to try to glean as much benefit from the buffs as you can while they stick around, especially if you can get shared XP from a tribe. If you're a decent caliber of player, it shouldn't be too hard to find and kill some alphas in that time either, which in my opinion is the number one way to level, although breeders do get a respectable amount of XP from pulling the trigger on baby wyverns and gigas. That about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. My name is Vinconi, and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe to be notified when my future videos go live.